So uh, now we're going to do an update on the Kazan old-fashioned frill cross. Um, this clutch, you had uh, previously seen them as fairly young squabs. They were, for the most part, mostly feathered out, uh, about three weeks old. So they are uh, considerably older now. Uh, they're still in their juvenile plumage. They're starting to molt that out a little bit. This guy, I think, is a cock. Um, you'll notice he's pretty similar to uh, the Kazan Old German Owl cross. Now, there's really not a lot of differences between the two crosses. Kind of very similar to a, a Berlin short face or a, a Berlin or Curzon, as they're called. Grouse legs, a bit of a, an upright carriage. And while he looks black, he is actually, uh, he's bronze. He is uh, toy bronze, is what he is. He has uh, an orange eye. A little bit of a lighter colored orange eye. And in my view screen, it actually looks uh, a little bit pearl, which at the time I thought maybe they would be pearl, but they're definitely an orange eye. So the oriental frills, just like the old German owls, they their bull eye from the white is masking an orange eye. So I have uh, pretty high hopes for this cross. Um, I seem to have a cock and a hen here from this cross. The parents are they're back on eggs. They should be hatching another round here pretty soon. The hen seems a little slow. Um, it may be because we're starting to get here in the warmer weather now. It's uh, going into late August. It's getting pretty hot. We've had some really hot days. Um, well over 100 this summer. So needless to say, that kind of slows the breeders down. They want to start going through a molt. Kind of everybody's slowing down. I will probably get uh, another round or two, I hope, before winter. If the weather holds. I hope these uh, cas and frill crosses are old enough that I do get uh, some F2 from them. So we're going to look at the uh, the little sulfur hen that is this guy's sister. And as you can see, he's so got the moon on his chest and some white markings and a white rump and even though he looks black you'll notice he does have the terminal bar on the tail um, so he's he's blue not black um, no spread gene in this just uh, the toy bronze and needless to say this toy bronze really doesn't express very well in the first generation crosses when you put them back together they normally uh, get a better expression of them. You tend to start getting uh, a lot more bronze showing up in the wing shields. So that is what we're after. I'd really like to get some that uh, are barred. The black with the heavy bronze bar is kind of one of the things I would like to perpetuate here in these crosses, at least from this side of it. So we'll go on and look at the hen from here. So here is the uh, The other one from that round um, that you saw as a squab, this is a, uh, she is a dilute toy bronze. Um, really a lot of bronze in this one. Uh, heavy sulfur is what we would call her. A um, little better carriage than her brother by my standpoint. Um, I am to make it clear, one of the things I'm after, uh, the grass legs, uh, the larger tail in the, in the hanging wings and carriage of the Kazan cocks. Um, I'm not too sure how closely related the two Kazan cocks I have are. They were originally sent to me as a <coughs> by a friend of mine who had ordered them and they were supposed to be a pair and they were kind of as we both suspected they were not but that's kind of the way it goes and that's fine. They're suiting their purpose anyway. Um, so I'm actually really happy with this little hen. Um, she's still a little young to breed so I don't know if I'm going to get anything out of her and her brother this year. I will be breeding them together. I do want to inbreed them quite tight to basically centralize all the genetics of their parents and that is the, the fastest way if you really want to purify a gene pool is to go full brother and sister and that will accentuate the genetic features of the common parents which in this case is uh, the original pair so uh, 
just as I was when this uh, little hen was a squab. I'm very, very happy with her. Um, she kind of goes back and forth as far as her carriage and her her uh, wing carriage and her tail carriage. Kind of a back and forth, which is what these chasm crosses seem to do. Um, obviously, the little bird with the whorl, you've seen in previous videos, that one has a much more exaggerated carriage, closer to what I want. The rest of them, they kind of go back and forth. Uh, Every now and then you'll see the tail slightly upraised, you'll see the wings down. Um, better muffs on this little bird than either parent, which is quite surprising. Kind of a short muff, opposed to a grouse leg like the Kazan or the, the Frill had. Um, like her brother, she is orange-eyed, but uh, overall, uh, you know, really happy with this little hen. Um, and obviously I'm happy to get the toy bronze coming through from her mother. You know, and as I'd mentioned in other videos, I am a fan of Dilute, so I'm happy to uh, have the Dilute. I didn't know previously that her uh, father, the Kazan sire, carried Dilute. I had no idea about that. So I'm happy to uh, get one Dilute and to know that he carries Dilute. That's something that makes me uh, pretty happy. <laughs> So needless to say, we're going to kind of go on from here, and maybe if we're lucky, these will uh, maybe be old enough this year. Um, going into fall, maybe get a round off of them, uh, get some F2 offspring that are uh, Kazan and Old Fashioned Frill F2s, the uh, inbred product of the cross, which is uh, definitely the name of the game and everything we're doing here. It's going to be the same with the... Uh, the old German Al Usbeck cross, and some of the other crosses I have here that I really haven't shown yet, um, that I'm still working on. I'm going to talk a little more about those. So, uh, until next time, hopefully we will uh, have some more uh, exciting stuff coming up and start actually seeing uh, the progress that comes as a result of these full sibling matings after following the first generation cross going into that second generation. So, until next time, have a good one.